let's take a look at selection test validity. Reliability, well indispensable, tells you only that the test is measuring something consistently. Validity tells whether the test is measuring what you think it's supposed to be. Test validity answers the question, does this test measure what it's supposed to measure? Put another way, it refers to the correctness of the inferences that we can make based on the test. A test is a sample of a person's behavior, but some tests are more clearly representative of the behavior being sampled than others. There are several ways you can demonstrate a test's validity. Criterion validity involves demonstrating statistically a relationship between scores on a selection procedure and the job performance of a sample of workers. For example, it means demonstrated that those who do well on the test also do well on the job and vice versa. The test has validity to the extent that people with higher test scores perform better on the job. In psychological measurement, a predictor is the measurement, in this case the test score, that you're trying to relate to a criterion, such as performance on the job. The term criterion validity reflects that terminology. Content validity is a demonstration that the content of a selection procedure is representative of important aspects of performance on the job. The basic procedure here is to identify job tasks that are critical to performance and then randomly select a sample of those tasks to test. Construct validity means demonstrating that a selection procedure measures a construct, an abstract idea such as a moral or honesty, and that that construct is important for successful job performance. At best, invalid tests are a waste of time. At worst, they're discriminatory. In any case, tests rarely predict performance with 100% accuracy. Don't make tests your only selection tool. Use others like interviews and background checks to round out your selection process.